welcome to the much-awaited stable tour. Before I start with the tour, I just want to apologise to you guys for how long this project has taken me. We started off in the spring, it's now gradually growing closer and closer and closer to winter so it's pretty much taken the whole year we started off 2021 with three stables this was the um, storage room the tack room was tiny and it's now expanded quite a bit since then um, the stables yes yeah, started off being plain wood just how they were and we have done a lot I started off in the spring doing a huge spring clean by pressure washing the stables, which is very satisfying, I've got to say. However, it did look a little bit uneven where um, I did it harder in some places than others. So then it was on to painting, but before that, I had to sand down all of the surfaces, which took me quite a while. Then after that, it was time to paint everything. And I didn't make things easy. I decided to go for a light gray. So that involved three different coats. If I had to sum up today, uh, this year in uh, one word, it would be painting. Cause that's what I feel like I've been doing all year long. It's been fun, but um, my arm has been permanently aching <laughs> from the painting. Um, I also decided to not make life easy for myself again, because um, I decided to paint the stable doors a darker gray. So and I had white accents. So I was using three different types of paint, lots of line work to make sure it looked immaculate. And here we are today. We have a beautiful gray stable. It looks so different, but I think it looks so good. I absolutely love it. So why don't we start off the tour with the extension and what I've added? Because I did say, you know, we started off with three stables. Now we have four and a wash bay. So a lot has changed. So this is the gate that goes in and out to the horses' paddocks. So Duke and Mickey are together and Joey and Casper are in a field together. So that's how I lead them in and out. Now onto the thing that has been on my bucket list. It's something that I have wanted for so long, especially now having four greys and that is a wash bay. Having this is honestly a dream come true. And I just wanted to say a huge thank you to you guys because you are the reason I've been able to do this whole stable renovation project. And without you guys, none of this would have been possible. So thank you for watching my videos. So yeah, this is the wash bay. I'll quickly just take these down and then I will show you inside. So you might be thinking, Esme, I've already seen the wash bay, but we've added quite a few different features since you guys have last properly seen it in a tour. Obviously, like before, we have all of my lotions and potions, all the things I use to keep my horses as clean as I possibly can. Um, over here, I've actually changed up how I had uh, my grooming kits before. I had them hanging on hooks here. I found that it started to look a little bit messy when I was filming my videos, especially as they're quite bright colors. They were just this sort of bright thing in the background. So I've actually got two here at the moment um, that are in sort of similar colors. We've got a burgundy one and a red one. I thought they looked really cute there. They're kind of hidden around in the corner and I just think it looks a lot more tidy. Then if we move on, this is one of my new favorite things. We have a hose pipe holder so I can roll it up. It's really similar to the one on the yard. I think it might be the exact same. And it just means that um, when I'm washing the horses, it's a little bit easier and it doesn't get all knotted up and annoying. We also have the hot water. We still need to uh, finish this off. We don't quite have hot water yet. We will very soon. So this winter that is going to be an absolute lifesaver. Then if we come around, we have a little window that lets in some nice natural light that goes out to the horse's fields. Um, Joey, whenever I lead him in here, he goes straight to the window, has a little peep, see, has a little look and see what the other horses are doing. This is also another added feature that has been so useful, you don't even know. So this, you might be thinking, Esme, that's just like a metal bar. Why is it that interesting? I'm very excited about this because this is where I put my horse's rugs, especially now it's winter. So when I lead Joey in or whatever, and I'm going to give him a groom, um, I can take his rug off, 
hang it on here and it's all nice and ready to go and it doesn't have to go on the ground and get dirty although it's probably dirty already where he's been rolling um this oh my goodness dry me very kindly gifted me a solarium and oh my goodness it has been amazing especially as it's starting to get a little bit colder now i can warm up joey's back or casper's back before i put their tack on and get them ready um i'm gonna turn it on just so you guys can see it because I am in love, so I just turn it on and then I'll just pop it up to 15 minutes. There's also a fan or cooler. I'm not going to turn it on because it gets very noisy, um, but that's going to be great even in the summer. You know, I can cool him down, put the fan on, but oh my goodness, I love it. <laughs> I also really love going under here myself, especially in the winter when it gets cold, I can just sort of warm my hands up on it. I feel like a reptile, like a little tortoise or a lizard, and this is like my heat lamp, but no, I love it. It's, it's honestly a dream come true. I'm so grateful. <laughs> so last time I did a bit of a tour, uh, this wasn't a stable, this was a storeroom. So in here, we had all of the racking that I put up, we had all of the haylage, all of the shavings. So uh, this was completely full and I had to take everything out and make it into a stable because surprise, surprise, I got a full horse, Duke. So if you don't know the story behind Duke, he um, is a rescue pony. We rehomed him from World Horse Welfare. Now I've been wanting to rehome a rescue horse for so long now. And um, I've been working with World Horse Welfare for quite a few years now, um, filming there. And it kind of was like everything clicked into place. It was the right time. We weren't there to actually look for a horse. We were just there to film for the charity. And that's when we met Duke. He, this little gray, hairy Welsh, mini pony thing <laughs> just would not leave us alone he put his nose straight in the camera and i absolutely fell in love with him and so did my cameraman and world horse welfare were like well you do know he does need a home somebody has to rehome him why don't you and we honestly didn't have to think about it for like a few seconds we we're like oh my gosh we need to we just fell in love with him obviously it was a really long process of um having our home checked, doing some handling days with him. You know, we did, we did it all properly and now he's with us and I could not be happier. He could not be happier. He's so happy. Um, so this is his stable before I ramble on too long about Duke. Also, his backstory is so interesting. He was abandoned a few days old on a Welsh mountainside without a mum. And um, he's been hand reared by World Horse Welfare. So that might be one of the reasons why he's so friendly with people. Um, sometimes a little bit too friendly. We're working on that. Um, but anyway, this is his stable. He's never had a stable before. This is his first ever stable of his own, which melts my heart. Um, so he's not actually used to being in that much so what we're doing with him at the moment at night is he um, can go free range so he can go in the sort of courtyard yard concrete area um, but he can also go in a stable if he wants to as well he's actually I don't know if this is a good habit or a bad habit but he likes to poo outside so his shavings never get pooey which is good for mucking out but then also can be a bit annoying when I'm trying to feed the horses in the morning and I accidentally step in it but anyway this is his bed he's got a lovely big bed that he can can spread out in because he's so tiny um, and then we also have a little area for his hay or haylage and then he has a little water bucket down here very self-explanatory he also has the cleanest stable because it's the newest one but yeah he has nice rubber matting on the floor so it's nice and soft and squidgy he's got nice natural light but yeah, we wanted to make this as nice as possible for him, especially as it's his first stable. And he's still used to sort of being inside, especially as the winter draws in. But anyway, onto the other stables before I start talking too much about Duke. Alrighty, here we have Casper's stable. Um, same as last time, really. It's just now grey. Um, there's not really much to show you inside apart from, you know, it's a stable. He has a lovely big bed of shavings. Again, we've got lights in here, so that really helps, um, especially in the winter if I need to change their rugs or something like that. If I shut this up, also all of Casper's stuff is purple, so his water bucket, he's got a little horseshoe, he's got a little nameplate with his name on, which is so cute. Also, this is the um, yard hose pipe. This is Casper's favorite thing to lick and chew on. So don't worry, we have given it a little bit of a clean. Um, again, it's a windy up one, which is so useful um, because it doesn't get all tangled and knotty and things like that. Then we move on to Mickey's stable. Again, 
pretty much the same as Casper's on the inside. His stuff is all in this beautiful blue colour. It has his nameplate on. And then we move on over to Joey's stable. Joey actually has the biggest stable out of all the horses because it goes all the way along to the back. So he does have rubber. Oh, let's open this up. There's a stone there. So Joey does have the biggest stable out of all the horses. It goes all the way along here. I think it might be sort of like similar size to a mare and foal one, I'm not sure. I'll try and like find out the dimensions, but it is massive. People always think like, oh, he doesn't have that much shavings, but actually his stable is so big that, you know, half of the stable is pretty much filled with shavings. So he has a huge bed fit for the king that he is. And then if we move on next door, we have the new feed room, which is very exciting. You guys have been wanting to see this for quite a while now. We also have his block. I do need to paint this gray because um, we put this block here because if not, he puts his nose on the light. And um, yeah, we don't want him partying all night with the light on. So we put this here so he can't reach it, but we do need to paint it so it matches everything else. Okay, this is the new feed room, which is very exciting. Here it is. I just need to turn the light on because it's a little, a little dark in here. So, um, here we have some grass of X on a little shelf that we've put here. I'm not sure what else I'm gonna put here, but shelving is very useful and storage. You can never have too much of it. Here we have my carrot key ring. <laughs> it's looking a little worse for wear. Um, so uh, I think, so this is the, when this was the tack room, obviously we had to lock it up. So we have the key still for that. Um, but I think, cause it's next to Joey's stable, Joey gave him a little talking to. I don't know what happened, but he's had better days. <laughs> Moving on, we have uh, the food. We have some Willow's food here. She has a mix because she's a little fussy and obviously she has to have medication. So um, she has that at the moment. We have to swap her food a little bit every now and again because she goes off her food. Um, here we have some pictures that Lemieux sent me from the photo shoot. Um, I've never known what to do with them. They've been in boxes for like a year now and um, I don't really like having photos of myself up on a wall. So I'm, I've just put the ones of me and Caspi up because then I can look at Caspi and see how cute he is and try and ignore myself because I feel like that would be a bit weird having lots of photos of myself up, but there we go. Here we have the glorious feed bin. I have been wanting a metal feed bin for so long and it's now my dreams have come true. You know you're an equestrian when you get excited over something as small as a metal feed bin, but to me this is everything. So if I open it up, it is so organized and it makes me so happy. It has three different sections. We have Bailey's locale balancer, Bailey's light chaff, and then we have Bailey's performance balancer. I put the chaff in the middle so then the two don't get too mixed up. I thought that would be good. I actually need to re refill these because, um, well, I'll refill them when they get to the bottom so the old food doesn't get old, but they get through they get through through food quickly. Anyway, that was a bit of a mouthful. On to another thing that I'm very excited about, and that is a bin. So when we make the horses food, especially Willow's medication and Mickey's medication, the sort of sachets or packets can then go in the bin, keep everything tidy. Uh, we also have a mirror. So um, this was also a mirror that was just here when it was the old tack room. So I don't really know what to do with it. So it's still here. It makes the room feel bigger. Again, don't really want to look at myself. Off we go. Uh, here we have the sink. So it feels like I have my own little mini kitchen, which I'm very excited about. We have some hand soap if things get a bit mucky on the yard. We have some surface cleaner. We have a very aesthetic glass jar full of lots of different treats. We have a sink that has um, a little tub inside just for easier cleaning. Um, to cover up all the mess, I have a towel on a towel rack here, which works very well so you can't see the storage under here. Under here I have things that are just, such as um, storage boxes, I have my first aid kit, all that kind of stuff. We also have the beautiful buckets here, kind of in rainbow order. We have donkeys on top, horses in the middle, all in their color coordinated colors, which when you have a lot of equines is actually very useful. It does look pretty, but it's more, oh my goodness, where's Mickey's feed bucket? It's the blue one, quickly grab that. Um, we also have a kettle. Um, this is an old one that I think we had in a caravan or something. Um, that we've put in here. I don't know how old it is, but I think it's quite old. Um, so we can have warm water. So if I'm washing up and want warm water, I can do it in there. I kind of want to make a tea station or a coffee station, 
because are you really British unless you have one? Because, you know, if you have, for example, the farrier here, you make them a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. So I feel like that might be quite useful. Might add that in the future. On we go, we have the blackboard. I was gonna call it the whiteboard then. We used to have a whiteboard. I thought a blackboard looks quite cute. We have menu for the horses. So it kind of feels like a horse cafe in here. That's what I was going for. Again, I put it in all their colors, what they have, um, even though, you know, I know what I feed them, but it's there, it looks cute. I also um, have put when the horses are last shod because that's something that is good to keep up on. Um, this video is filmed in advance, so if you're thinking, oh my goodness, they have not been shod in weeks, don't worry, I do need to change that because they've got the farrier coming very soon. <laughs> um, next, we have some buckets again. So these are little mini buckets that I ordered quite a while ago. These were in my old feed room. And I thought they were really cute. So the pink one is Willows, so it has Willows medicine in. Um, we also have like some apples in here if I want to give them a little bit of a little bit of a treat. We have the markers for the board. We have some cleaning products. We have some gloves that I use, especially um, some of my equines get skin conditions sometimes. So we have special cream from the vets to put on, so with that I have to use gloves. We have Mickey's, all of his creams for all of his skin conditions. We have um, a lint roller, cause kind of useful. We have Mickey's medicine. We also have some wormer, and um, we also have some more treats and things, some sprays, cleaning products. I'll probably find something to put on these shelves. They're looking a little bare at the moment, but I feel like storage and shelves you can never have too much of. So that's pretty much the new feed room. I really like it, especially with the green walls. Again, a lot of painting, a lot of work has been put into this. And you know, it's so nice to see the hard work paid off. I also need to fix this wall because that looks a bit nasty. That's, well, ignore that, ignore that. Moving on, moving on. <laughs> All right, so it's now time for the part that everybody has been wanting to see. This is the part that has probably taken the longest and that is the new tack room. So much of my hard work has gone into this. We've had to insulate it, put boards up, four layers of paint on all of the walls. I had to lug and carry lots of furniture that was very, very heavy, move around, and I can finally show you what it's like inside. Oh my goodness, I am way too excited for you guys to see this. Let me just turn the lights on. Alrighty, we now have light. So I thought I'd start the tour by doing it sort of anti-clockwise. So we'll do the saddles first, cause that's quite cool. Um, but I also, something that's really useful that you wouldn't really think about is I have a coat hook on the back of the door. So uh, if I get too warm, I can put it up here so I know it's safe because the amount of times I've just chucked a coat on a fence and the horses have chewed it or I've just put it on the side and it's fallen on the ground, not good. Coat hooks are very useful. Um, I also have some hooks, so I just have a spare bit here. I have Joey's breastplate, I have his dressage bri bridle that's in black, and to go with that I have his uh, Adelaide dressage saddle up here. I have my jump saddle, which is my Lexington for Joey, and then I have my GP, which is my Stuttgart that I use for Casper. Um, so obviously, very pretty saddles. We have the blue wall to match because you guys know I love a bit of colour coordination. Uh, if we go around, I have my breastplates. So these are the ones that I use with Casper's saddle. Um, so he's got one that's a um, stud girth that I use for jumping and then for just like dressage and things or flat work. I don't really do dressage with Casper, but also for flat work and things, I use this one. We also have some really pretty sort of industrial style lights that I found for a really good price online. Um, but apart from that, most of the sort of furniture and things I have got secondhand or from charity shops. Okay, we're now onto one of my favorite parts of the tack room and that is my dresser. So I saw this in a charity shop and I wanted to buy secondhand and also, you know, from a charity shop it's really good because the money goes to charity. Um, so I absolutely fell in love with this and um, all of my friends and family at first were a little concerned. They were like, 
because uh, the photo I sent them, it had like China teapots, all like grandma sort of stuff on it. And they were like, oh my goodness, what is this going to look like? This is very different to what they thought I was going to go for. Um, but I measured it. I knew I could fit my helmets in there and they fit perfectly. So it was kind of like it was meant to be in my life. Um, also, I saw these cabinets here. They actually had little shelves on that I took out, but if we open it inside, I have a Joey's bridle here. This is his sort of jumping and hacking one. It's a little dirty, so excuse that. I do need to clean it. Um, and then we have all of my helmets. Charles Owen is such a generous sponsor, and I do have quite a few. At the bottom, I have their newer style helmets. So we have the Halos and I have a Luna over here. So these are going to sort of be my competition ones, the gloss ones, because they are very, very pretty and shiny. I love them. Uh, then we have my skull caps in the middle. We have my two helmets that, again, I love. Sorry for the promo, but I love them. They're so pretty. And then at the top, I have my um, sort of older style Charles Owen ones with the shorter peak. I really like wearing these for dressage. I think they look really sort of professional. And then I also have another wide peak up here. Um, this is really nice in the summer because the peak is so wide. It is very good at keeping the sun out of your eyes. And then if I go in this little drawer, I have Casper's bridle again, is really dirty. I need to clean it. Don't worry, I will before I next ride him. And um, something else I really wanted was plants because I'm a plant person. I love plants. However, there are no windows in here. So any plant I have would permanently be dead because um, it would get no light. So. I don't really like fake plants. I'm a real plant kind of person, but I saw this one and I thought it was really cute. And then it has a little gold or brassy um, pot, which goes with all the sort of details I've gone for. So for example, the light it matches and also the mirror here that I just absolutely love. It's um, really tall as well. So I can start doing sort of outfit photos and things in there, which will be really cool for Instagram. Also, you guys might be wondering what's in the bottom because obviously this this unit has a lot of storage. Um, so in this one, I have sort of some extra lotions and potions, some sort of industrial sized ones that are for refills, which is good. I also have some fly spray in there that I don't need this time of year because we have no flies because it's winter. Um, in this one, I have just like mess. So these two are the mess cupboards. You don't really want to see inside there. It's just where something doesn't have a home and I chuck it in there. I feel like everyone needs a mess cupboard in their life. Um, here I have some paper towel and sponges, always useful. Uh, here doesn't really have anything in. And then I actually have another pair of tool boots in here that are in a boot bag. Also, if you're wondering, I have my little um, sort of grooming, industrial grooming kit kind of thing. Um, this is really good for shows and taking things to places, but because, oh, I wouldn't say I'm small because I'm five foot six, which is kind of like an average height for a woman, I believe. Um, but I can, re I can reach my dressage saddle. It's fine for taking off, but um, it can be useful to stand on <laughs> to take it up and down because to save sort of space I decided to uh, put three in a row just because you know uh, it makes the room feel bigger and it takes up less wall space and I wanted to have pretty things on my wall so yeah hello welcome to the other side of the tack room here is my mirror that I fell in love with I saw the mirror and I saw the dresser on the same day and I was like, this makes me feel like my um, tack room will be a sort of Disney princess crossed with a country pub, crossed with old fashioned, lovely country, dark academia. That's sort of what I went for. And when I saw those two pieces, I was like, yes, this is what I'm going to go for. I think this will look really cool. Um, so I also from got some secondhand uh, like wine crates and I didn't measure these, but I thought, you know what? I can put anything in here. It will be fine. And when I found out that my boots perfectly fit in them, I was so excited. So here are my um, 
Palisade ones. These are sort of my more competition ones. I have my really cool insulated winter ones. I haven't worn these yet this winter, but I'm I probably will wear them tomorrow because it has got so cold recently. I also have some um, photos here or paintings, sorry. Uh, they are over a hundred years old. They were about seven pounds each, I believe, or they were in between seven and 10 pounds each. And for something that old, I was like, oh my goodness. And I feel like I've sort of collected some horses. So this one, I kind of feel like what Joey will look like when he's older, when he's all whited out. Um, I have this one, which reminds me of Casper and Duke when Duke was a bit darker. And then I just have these three, which look like they're having a great time. So I thought they were really cute. So I added them and it kind of goes with the old fashioned style that I've gone for. Um, I also have my brown heritage boots and then I have my Nitro Maxes as well. These are more my everyday boots. They are so comfy. Um, oh yeah, we also, <laughs> I'm getting way too excited now guys, but I also have um, this chest of drawers. Oh my goodness. I wanted this I fell in love with as well. I said this when I was doing my sort of stable renovation series or tacrum series that I would have this in my house. Like obviously I don't have a house yet, but when I have a house one day, this is the sort of furniture. Oh my goodness. I'm all about wooden furniture. Like I feel like, you know, I I I'm lost for words. I love this so much. Anyway, um, on the top one, we have some gloves. Uh, I'm pretty sure they all have a pair. It is just a bit of a free for all in here. These are my favorite mucking out gloves because they are insulated and I've been wearing them a lot. That's why uh, there's a bit of shavings in there. You know, this is, the, this is the real life when it comes to horses. I also have this really cool headband, which is great for riding in because it keeps my ears warm. Would 100% recommend that, that is amazing. Um, <laughs> this is the bits and bobs drawer where um, little small things that don't have a home go in here. So we have some clatting bands, a pair of scissors, they are always useful. Uh, I have a Sharpie, some polos, a hairnet, a hairbrush, some tape, you know, the essentials, the essentials. Um, <laughs> this drawer uh, surprises people when they open it because it's full of all of my pom-poms and I feel like somebody could open this drawer up and think, oh my goodness, there's a rat in it. Um, but no, <laughs> these are all faux fur by the way, guys. So these are all the pom-poms that go in my hat silks, which I believe is in the next drawer here. Um, there are quite a few. Uh, we have my Lemire ones this side. I also have a, um, for hacking on the road, a reflective, one um and then i also have my hat silks on this side so all of my cute pastel ones that i love um so yeah a big a big selection there we go let's shut that properly in the next drawer we have all of the fly veils so these are all of my colorful ones that are kind of like fun that i wear like day to day that kind of thing uh because my show ones are in a different section that i'll show you in a sec and then lastly, at the bottom, we have all of my boots. Now, these were organized. It's kind of become a little bit more of a free for all, but that's okay. Um, some of them are a little bit muddy because, you know, it's winter. I do need to give them a bit of a clean, but you know what? It does the job. They all fit in there really nicely, actually. So it's quite old, this guy. So gotta treat him with some care. There we go. And then uh, we have a radiator. This I was really excited about um, because although we don't have it on very hot, it just means that things won't really go moldy because my last tack room, there was some mold in places. So if you're wondering why I'm so excited, that is why, like, it's just the little things. I just, I still can't believe this is all real. If you couldn't tell already, like, I'm just so grateful that I can't believe this is mine. But anyway, moving on, we have another wardrobe in this absolutely beautiful dark brown that um, I loved as well. Um, it's actually a really nice height because I can just about see over it like perfectly. I can rest my chin on it if I want. Um, but no, it's a really good height. So it means I could put some more things on top of it for storage. I also have some absolutely gorgeous picture frames here again that I bought from like an antique place. Uh, this one's broken and needs fixing. So I got them all for a really good price as well. Um, probably cheaper than like a normal picture frame would be from a shop that's brand new. 
Um, so the plan is to take some really nice photos of the horses and put them in. Although I only have, they only had three and I have four horses. So the plan is to put maybe Duke and Mickey in one because they're like the smallest. I feel like that would be really cute. Maybe even like black and white photos to go with sort of the oldie vibe. Um, if we open up in here, this is sort of my everything wardrobe. So it has literally like lots of different bits and bobs, but it's actually pretty well organized, pretty impressed. So I have my shadow back protector, and then I have my body protectors here as well. At the bottom, I have some spare half pads. Uh, here I have some clippers. Um, so I'm really lucky to be sponsored by Lister and they actually sent me these ones recently. They're like some little ones that I can use for the little areas. Um, let me just zip it back up. It also fits perfectly in here. Like how satisfying is that? I have my air jacket in here again, fits perfectly. So this top shelf here, I wasn't too sure what to put in here. So it's kind of become my emergency shelf. So any little things where you're like, oh my goodness, where is that? I need it. So we have all of the farrier's tools because um, if you have a horse that likes to pull off shoes or has a horse that has a hanging off shoe, these are very useful to have. Um, I feel like it's a skill in life to know how to take off a horse's shoe in an emergency. I've had to do that one too many times. Uh, we have plating bands in case I need them for whatever reason. They're always useful. And then I also have my medical armband for cross country that I wear in case I fall off somewhere randomly in a field and nobody knows who I am. Um, I have, again, my big, um, really cool tote that has my list of clippers in. Pop that back. Again, fits perfectly. It was like it was made for me, guys. <laughs> Um, in the top shelf here, I have all of my show ear bonnets. So all of sort of my like branded ones or ones that are sort of a more neutral color, such so as like a plain gray one. So I'll slide that back. And then I have all of my um, lunging equipment. So I have my lunge line. I have um, all those bits and bobs. And then lastly, at the bottom, I have all of my reflective gear. So I have a reflective ear bonnet. I, that, these really need a wash, actually. I use them all the time because I do hack like... I try to switch up schooling with hacking quite a bit. I never like to really go in the school two days in a row, if that makes sense. Or doing like flat work two days in a row or jumping two days in a row. Anyway, um, I have... Yeah, quite a lot of reflective stuff. I have my orange brick one. I just have a yellow, this one. Oh my goodness, this one I have had since I was eight, since I got Mickey and it actually fits really well. It just looks like it's cropped. And uh, we have some chewage on here where Mickey uh, has chewed it, but it still works really well. So, you know, I also have a really nice helmet bag. So if I go to clinics and shows and things or travel about, then I just have some spare white show saddle pads at the bottom that are branded. Um, and yeah, that is pretty much the wardrobe. I feel like I could probably put more stuff in here, but for now it's a nice amount. Like there's more little compartments and things or more space in the compartments. Uh, so yeah, that's that. We also have these really cute lights. Did I just put them up today? Yes, it was quite difficult. Might have broken a bulb in the process, but we did have a spare one. Um, I think they look really cool. Um, before I've always had like really small, thin fairy lights and I decided to go for big, chunky industrial ones because I thought again, it went more with the aesthetic I was going for. But also when the lights are turned off, I feel like the bulbs still kind of look pretty without being annoying, if you know what I mean. Here we have one of my favorite parts and that is the sink. It is almost complete. We do need to do a little bit more, this is me plumbing here, for it to be all on and working. So this is gonna be my tack cleaning station. I also need to put my hook up here so I can clean my bridle. But oh my goodness, I love how I went for the dark gray on here. I almost went for the light gray that I used in the feed room, but I feel like the dark gray really makes the whole shoes stand out, especially I went for gold. I, at first I was like, oh my goodness, is gold going to be too much? But I, I think I think I can pull it off. We also have another mirror here that is just gorgeous. This was really, really cheap. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is massive. I don't think it's that old. It's probably only a few years old that somebody's just like dumped at a charity shop or something. 
but I thought it was so pretty. It does kind of annoy me that it's like not the exact same color as the picture frames here. But again, I found some more old fashioned horse photos or um, paintings that I thought were really cute. Like look at these two little guys on a farm. I love big heavy horses. I think they're so cute. Anyway, we have, we have, I don't know what this is the collection, the obsession, the hoard of saddle pads. I always get so embarrassed showing all my saddle pads because there are just too many. I, no, no, nobody needs this many. Lumia are very generous. They, they have made the saddle pad dream come true. Um, but yeah, any, any color of the rainbow, I pretty much have it. Um, we also have all of my leather head collars, like show ones here. We have a, a head collar of Mickey. So we have Duke's little baby one that's a little, little old. I don't want to use it on him because like it is, I was going to send it back to World Horse Welfare because they technically kind of own it, but it's literally about to fall apart and I feel like it wouldn't be safe to use on a horse anymore because it's like so used. But look how tiny. Look how tiny it is. It's so cute. He does have a new one now that's the same size, but uh, that's in the other, that's in the storeroom. We have my lunging, Cavison, more head cords. Oh, we have another saddle here. Um, this is a new one that Voltaire have sent me to try with Casper. This is from their Essentials range and it's a jumping one. So um, that doesn't have, doesn't have a place yet, but we do have that. I actually, it's, can't really tell you this, <laughs> but um, I do have something coming very soon that might take up a bit more of this empty space that I can put a saddle on. You'll have to wait and see for that, but that's quite exciting. But it might take a while to arrive because they've got to make it. Um, and then I have all the head collars. Again, lots of different pretty colors. Let me know what your favorite color is, but um, yeah. When it was in the old tack room, I didn't realize how much stuff I had. Now it's in a big room and it's all spread out. It's still quite surreal, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed the little tack room section of the tour. I'm still so in love with it everywhere. Like obviously if this was a normal working yard where you had to quickly get loads of horses in and out ridden, that kind of thing, this would not be practical, but for me with my horses and the job that I do, I wanted it to be really aesthetic and pretty to look at because this is probably going to be the background for a lot of my videos when I'm filming and things. Um, so that, that was kind of one of the reasons why I wanted to make it so pretty, but also this is, I had my, my first ever proper tack room was in the old feed, was in the new feed room. Um, and it was quite small and, but it was the perfect size for me when I needed it. And like before that, I always kept my tack in the garage. So I remember being so excited and so grateful when I just had a room that I could put my tack in. And now to have a room that has electrics, heating, it even has like a plug socket so I can charge my phone in. Like this is honestly so surreal and a dream to me. So thank you, I'm so grateful. I feel like I've been way too excited in today's video. So I'll try, I'll try and turn it down a little bit. I've, yeah, I'm just speechless. I can't, I can't believe this is mine. So thank you. All right, so that is the main stables, but we're not quite finished yet because if I take you around the back, it's time to show you where all of the haylage, shavings and rugs are kept. If I take you along here and around the back, we have the storage room. <laughs> Here we have all of the Silvermore Haylage. My boys have the light one because they are good doers. Um, also, all of the packaging is recyclable, so that's really good. Um, we have these weird special sort of hay nets that have really small holes in because, again, my boys love their food and will devour it in one second. So that slows them down a bit. We also have this really cool um, weight thing so I can measure how much I'm giving to them because they all have very strict diets. This 
fancy little contraption here is actually so when you're making your hay nets you can open it up and then there's just a big hole you don't have to worry about holding the hay net while you're putting the hay or haylage in so that is very useful i also have some smaller ones here there for the donkeys their holes aren't quite as small um then we have shavings not that interesting <laughs> and we also have um all of the rugs i need to organize this it's been a process <laughs> I will enter some clips of when it looked really satisfying and organised. Um, I recently got some new winter rugs that I need to find homes for. I do actually need some more boxes to put at the top. So uh, that's that. Moving swiftly on, if we go over here, we have a new gate that I'm very excited about. So this gate was actually put in yesterday. As I said before, I thought this would all be finished by the summer and I'd film a beautiful tour in the summer when everything was looking pretty and now it's autumn, winter and everything's muddy and horrible. Although it has been a very dry November, so fingers crossed it stays that way, but I know England, the, the heavens are gonna open. It's gonna, it's gonna rain soon. Um, so this is really nice. So it means that I can lead Mickey and Duke into their field. It's a little bit easier to access here. Uh, Mickey likes it because he will stand here and um, whinny and snicker at you while um, while I'm making the haylage and always be like, hey, Esme, can, can I have a little bit? Can I have a little bit? We also have Duke, but um, he's realized that I don't have food and has wandered off. Classic Duke. Um, here he is. Hey, Dukey. Hey. Dookie pooky. There we go. He can just about put his head over the gate. Not quite, not quite. Of course they have their field shelter and then we just have the fields that I've already shown you guys. In the back here, you can just about see Joey and Casper all the way back there. But anyway, if we move forward on, back to where we were. <laughs> Uh, we have a gate here. This is the gate that I used to have to use to take the horses into their field, go through the pine forest and find a little gap in the electric fence where we made an electric fence makeshift gate. So I'm going to really appreciate having the new wooden one. Um, also up here, not very interesting. We have the muck heap that's around the back of the little uh, piney area. But anyway, if we go walk straight um, back to the stables, I need to show you where the arena is. So um, we have the stables on the right here. If we go straight up here, we have the arena. We have some jumps here that um, I kind of have just dumped here. This is the jump dumping area. <laughs> not very interesting, not very organized. Um, but we also now have um, the arena here, or it's always been here, but this gate again, I really appreciate. We didn't have a gate here for that long. We had like a makeshift gate where we literally cut the fence, added like a hook and things onto it and the fence would just move. So having a gate is nice. It's also kind of messy at the moment because I haven't flattened it down. Um, I have some poles out here because I was doing some pole work earlier. But yeah, this is the arena. Um, the house is there, as you might have seen in the background of videos, which is quite nice because uh, if someone's in the kitchen, they can watch me ride. So if I fall off, uh, they can see that and make sure I'm OK, <laughs> which is always good. Um, then if we go all the way down to here or the other side of the arena, I'll take you to the donkeys. And then you guys will probably have seen this from morning routines and things, but this is the donkeys paddock. They're looking very strange at the moment because uh, they're looking at the camera and they're like, oh, you're not here all the time. Hello. So we have Bruno and Toby. Bruno is the brown one. That's how I remembered when I was a kid because a lot of people get them confused. And even I used to get them confused when I was a toddler because I've known these guys my whole life. But that's how I remember Bruno is the brown one. And then we have Willow, who is the white one, even though she's not really white. She's, I don't know what color she is. I, I describe her as a, as a Palomino piebald or a Palomino schooled, whatever you want to call her. But um, yeah, she's out there pooing, I think at the moment, lovely. But yeah, they're looking really fluffy now. It won't be long until they need their winter coats on or their winter, their winter rugs. They've got their winter coats, time for their winter rugs. But yeah, I think that's pretty much the full tour. You guys have been, it's 
been wanting to see this for ages. I can't believe I've never really done like a proper barn tour or stable tour um, before. I've, I've done like mini ones, but not like showing you everything. Uh, up at the top, we have the donkey stables. You guys have seen that so many times. Uh, and this is their paddock at the moment. But yeah, I just want to say thank you so much guys for watching today's video. And again, for making the whole stable renovation series possible. Again, I'm just so grateful for all of you watching my videos and yeah, it's been so much fun. I really enjoyed it. I've got to think of new projects to do now because I have made so many videos of me doing DIY things, which I absolutely love, but I'm sure I'll, I'm sure I'll find something else to do. Um, but anyway, thanks again for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Oh, you guys love the scratchies, don't you? Yes, ear scratchies. It's all about the ear scratchies, hey? Mm-hmm, 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 mwah. <laughs> yeah. Look at that lip. Look at that bottom lip. What is that bottom lip doing? Why is it so droopy? Why is your bottom lip so droopy, Bruno? Look at that. Look at that. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop.